Hey guys, how's it going? Back for some more Final Fantasy 3. Um, fuck, uh, what the hell am I? Okay, uh, Alright, so there we go. Let's hope I remember how to, how to do all these buttons. Okay, that's the menu button. Uh, right. So, anyway, we're back. Oh, why is my run button off? It's been a while since I've done this. Of course, it's perfect timing for me to, to get sick. Oh, okay, I'm hitting the button for the run button, but I'm already running anyway. Lally ho! We're a, we're a bit little, but we're in big trouble. Okay, but uh, finally get back from school, get some. Was able to roll off like a, almost two hours of Chrono Trigger, and then I proceed to get sick for a week. So that was awesome, awesome, awesome timing, which just even made it even longer for me to get videos out. It's basically been like six weeks now since I've really done anything substantial, other than that like hour and a half of Chrono Trigger, but you know, all like what, 200 of you to watch my videos at this point, probably we're okay with that. A little disappointed, I haven't really been getting much views. I am having have a feeling ever since school started, people have been watching a lot less, which is disappointing, but oh well. It gives me a chance to play these games anyway, since I enjoy the games to begin with, they really make some difference. Anyway, lolly hole, humans, welcome to the Dwarf Hollows. Is that all you're going to say? Okay, we're good. So, where we left off, I believe we dealt with the Tower of Omen. Omen? Omen? Yeah, I think it was Omen. And Desk. I don't want to talk to Moogle. And he uh, jumped in the fire and killed himself in a glorious fashion of, yeah, how, however you can glorious you can be killing yourself. We put a ward around the shrine. No one can get close. We'll defend the last horn. Gutsko the rogue. He stole a horn. Smart he is, but a rascal too. Sure. The two horns made of ice. They're our treasure, our precious. Our precious. One of them was plundered and pilfered, stolen by a scoundrel. It must be found. Yes, so th that dwarf is Golem. My precious. <laughs> All right, dude. What do you sell? Oh. Um. Twenty. Wait a minute. That's. Is this a better helmet than what I got? Hold on. It's been a while since I played this. I've kind of forgotten. Oh, hold on. So the yeah, this is I'm gonna use my mouse. This is what the armor value is. This is what I have. I'm assuming. Okay, yeah, so that's good. Let's get my mouse off there. So the ice helmet is much better than what I got. So I'm going to buy three of them. Um, yeah. Ice shield. None of them use shields because I'm a boss and I only use so uh, you know cool shit like double swords, serpente swords. I'm assuming I saw the serpente swords. Uh, this is still just the same thing. Okay. This looks like all I can get is some armor. <laughs> Family guys on TV. Let's uh, equip the armors and then we can head on out. This is great timing in it. Uh, shell helmet. I'm surprised the shell helmet doesn't have, like, you know, magic resistance. You know, that's kind of what shell does. Her da der. Mithril um, helmet. Ice helmet. I uh, went the same one again. Mithril helmet. There we go. Yeah, I still got the Serpente swords. Oh, this guy's got the Salaman sword. Actually, shit, you know what? I need to get rid of that. Since the next area we're going to is uh, all fire stuff. So, that Serpente sword ain't gonna help too much. What are the rest of my guys got? Serpente. Serpente. Bunch of stabs. Okay. We're good. Hmm. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm not even... What the... <laughs> Fucking family guy. Lois is boxing or something and... Yeah, I don't know if anyone else is watching this episode, and by the time you watch this video, you might not remember anyway. But, uh, actually, I'm assuming it's probably already tire... tire thing? God damn it, it's a better sword, but I do not have the gold to buy it. Diamond Bill. I don't care. Um, shit. I can only buy, what, three of them? Nah, you know what? Fuck it, I really don't care. It's th it's three extra damage. Whoop de fucking do. I just don't care. Yeah, Lois just got her ass kicked by Family Guy's female version of Mr. T. Wars of Light, did you ever know that out to the sea, far, far to the sea, to the east is a peninsula of the village called Geshel? Yes, I do, actually. 
For anybody who actually watched my videos at the very, like, six, six weeks ago, you would remember that. Let me give you a brief description of your jobs. White mages are casters who specialize in restored... Okay. Thanks, because I totally didn't know that, like, this late in the game. Um... Oh, Christ, how many... I have, like, no... What the... Do they always cost 600? What the fuck? Mm. Just buy a fuck ton of potions. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't even know what else to do. Okay, whatever. Let's just stop. Who's this guy? An in? I might as well use the in. 80 kill. What a fucking rip. Right. See, something I find interesting is why does a dwarven village have human sized beds? Does anyone else besides me find that a little odd? Oh my god, they got. Fucking Peter singing the Rocky song. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just amusing, because it's just like, eh. There was a shiny tower to the north after the earthquake, it was gone, but there was, there's a big hole where it was. What? Uh, what's down here? <clears throat> oh, it looks like a little river. Um. Okay. Do I need to be towed to get in here or something? Hmm. Okie dokie then. Let's just wander over here and pretend I didn't see that. Just because I don't know what it is. What do you guys? There we go. That's probably what I'm looking for. That rascal gut school is made off of the horn of ice. You made us get away through the underground lake. You can't go after him because dwarves can't swim, but you're humans. Humans can swim. You must aid us with your amphibious abilities. So, in other words, toad. An invisible wall blocks your path. An invisible wall blocks your path still. Gasco must have known that dwarves can't swim. That sneak went to the underground lake to make his getaway. Warriors of the light, you have to go after the nefarious no gooder and take back the missing horn of ice. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Stop! The dwarven treasures are ahead. All non dwarves are forbidden forbidden to enter. And I just walked past him and walked in anyway. What's up, guys? I'm robbing you. Like a boss. Aw, oh, it's a big rock. Why? Why is there always a big rock? Nothing happens. There must be some healing spring. <gasps> Holy shit. Big yawn. Everybody yawn. Because yawns are contagious. I totally sounded gay right there. Da -da -da -da. Nobody heard that. <clears throat> yes. God, I gotta start searching like all black walls now because you never know what's a secret and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yeah, all that fun stuff. There we go. All right, yay, cutscene. Look at all those red mages. It's been so long since I've seen you. <gasps> it's been so long. In we go. Oh no, are we turning ourselves into toads again? You are such a hot toad. Yeah, I said it. <laughs> What the fuck? In we go! Okay, it's just the same cutscene, I guess. I'm supposed to turn into Toad first before I walk up. I don't know why the game can't just do it for me. Like, why are you gonna make me go through the whole menu and all that bullshit? Uh, magic. You have a Toad, don't you? Yes, you do. Yay! Ribbit, ribbit! Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I still don't understand the point of making me waste a magic point to turn myself into Toad just to turn myself back out of Toad. I just don't understand. What is the purpose of making me do this? It just seems so redundant. Like, I can understand if maybe you had, if you forced me to stay as Toads, but... What is the point? Fucking Christ. Oh, Square. You and your nonsense making. If dwarves can't get in here, then why is there bridges and stuff? Like, who built this? Eh, battles. Let's use the very slow Manticore! God damn. 50? Seriously? She's in the back row when she got smacked around for 50. 92. Awesome. Criticals. Not cool. Not cool at all. Oh shit, how much health these things have? You know what's pathetic? I'm using the fast forward function right now, and you probably can't even tell because this is just running very slow. I don't know what it is with this game or this emulator. 
I don't know if it's my computer that's not able to handle it or what. Like, I do. Really? Let's yes, attack the one who has the highest magic resistance. I don't know if it's just my computer that can't keep the, the full speed. Like, I do. I do want to build more RAM. Or not build more RAM, but get more RAM. I wonder if that would help. I don't know if it's RAM that's causing that or if it's my graphics card, but my graphics card should be good, so I really don't know. And our stuff went up. I don't know if it's my graphics card. My graphics card is like a Radeon HD. Uh, is it 7660 or 67? Uh, I think it's. Yeah, Radeon HD X 6770. Whatever the fuck that means. I don't even know if that means anything to have you, but. No, it's supposed to be a decent card, so, or a pretty good card, so it should be able to handle anything. I think graphics cards are more for, like, actual games anyway, like, you know, Steam games, not emulators, I think. This must just have to do with either processing power or my RAM itself, so I'll have to look into that. I wanted to buy more RAM anyway. I got this new computer, and it was, everything's pretty good, everything's all, you know, nice and high on the number charts, but then I got, like, f 4 gigs of RAM, and that's it. I could do so much better than 4 gigs of RAM. Like, by far. <laughs> So, oh shit. Every game these stupid bombs appear and they just do a truckload of damage and it's just obnoxious. I don't really want to waste my magic on them, but fuck, I think if you hurt them at all, they blow up and just do a, a shitload of damage and it's really, really shitty. <laughs> it's even this simple battle is just lag and it's just like, the Gotta use the fast forward button for every friggin' battle now, it's like, Bleh. Please kill it. Okay, yeah. I don't even want to test the theory of whether or not if I just simply attack and it doesn't die, it explodes. Most bomb enemies just explode and do a shitload of damage while killing themselves. It's really annoying. Hmm, <sighs> more yawns. You are forever doomed to yawn. So, yeah. Yeah, so who had a good Halloween? Anybody go out trick-or-treating? What'd you dress as? Like a pirate? Yeah, you dress as a pirate. Okay, I took like five steps. Probably a pirate, I bet you some of you were princesses, you know, all that fun stuff. Oh, let's just attack. You can just guard. Attack her, okay? Alright, let's see what happens. I don't- I can't waste all my damn magic. Are you gonna die? No, you're not. Are you gonna explode? No, you're gonna die. I wonder if I leave one a little dead, it will explode or not. They usually do, do they not? No, oh, it didn't explode. Maybe they aren't quite what I'm thinking. But I just, yeah. Please don't blow up. <laughs> please don't blow up in my face. <laughs> don't make even things blow up in my face. And if any of you make a comment on what I just said, you can go straight to hell. All right, I'm telling you that right now. Fucking people putting everything out of context. Oh, die in a hole. Yeah, I said it. Problem. When Friends is on. I was so sad when Friends ended. That was a great show. I watched that for so many years. Like just religious. Well, not religious. Really, 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 really. Religiously, but uh, I definitely watched it pretty consistently, so I was a little disappointed when it definitely ended. I was like, "Oh, more Zeus's wrath." Golden needle. I don't know what the hell is in the other path over there, but I'm saying, "Fuck it, just keep going." This is a dead end, isn't it? And more bombs, whatever. Everybody attack! Go, 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 go! Wait, wait, wait! Look at those swords. They're so awesome. <laughs> I don't understand why the white mage has the most uh, highest speed. I suppose that is technically good, because if I need my white mage to heal, oh, I kind of want the cure to go off first, so I'm going to not complain about that anymore. So, yeah. She looks really funny when she gets the devout outfit. She's just freaking little cat ears on her hood, and it's just like, Oh, that is so cute! Oh, I would totally snuggle with you! Yeah, I'm done acting like an idiot. But, yeah, you get what I mean. Don't, you don't even deny that you... Yeah, just... Yeah. And of course I'm being cliche as hell by making the girl the white mage, but you know what? I don't give a fuck. And there's nothing you can do about it. Gold needle. Oh, I don't care what's in the other path, I'm going this way. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. The near paths of doom. Three random chest with gold in it. <laughs> I'm glad it's there, but I will never understand why. Is that a tornado? Serious? A ruinous wave. Okay. Looks like a water tornado to me, bro. <laughs> Just cut, your, cut the tornado with your sword. Kill the fish. Wow, that did a lot of damage to that fish. I couldn't have come up with a better sound effect for that. <laughs> so, so, 
Okay, let's just rape everything. I think I might be overleveled for this dungeon. Everybody is level like 22. But, uh, trust me, my overleveling right now isn't going to make a lick of difference once I get to, to a certain point in the game where suddenly everything just gets balls harder. Oh, man, I mean, counter 